the not just the, 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 the black community, but all of America. When you when you squelch, when you subdue, when you subject a, 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 a portion of your population that has no way of it, of, of, of expression or or even becoming who they who they possibly could be. So I, I I want to encourage all of you to uh, use the youth of Phoenix, read the youth of Phoenix, be aware of how important it is. Even though they shut us down online and we're scrambling, we got you know I'm I'm talking to UC cybersecurity to, to get us back up and running. They can't stop this newspaper. It's in print. You hand it. You tear out a section and hand it to somebody. Mail it to somebody. You got to get the word out. You got to control your message. So if you've got, I don't know what your structure is. You need to have a media, a media committee, a, a media pod, whatever you want to call it. Somebody's got to be in charge of it. Somebody's got to handle it because if you're going to be effective, you've got to be able to control your message and make it what you want and get it out there and make sure that you're heard. Peace out. Thank you. Thank you, Cassandra. I, I agree uh, full heartedly. The uh, controlling your message is definitely a very important part of the movement in itself. I mean, it doesn't just include just Occupy. It includes everything else. But I mean, specifically, just today alone, we've already had our message distorted. We were out at outside of Hannah's office this morning, 10 a.m., nice and early, nice little warm-up protest for everybody involved. And we were there because Hannah voted in support of CISPA. A cybersecurity bill which will take all your internet privacy away from you. That's what we were there for. That's what we were upset about. I don't know if any of you called WKTV new news today, but according to them, we are there because we're anti-local business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does anybody oh. think that Occupy Utica is anti-local? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. But that's the message that they want to send out about us. This city is literally falling apart around us. There's pieces of the buildings falling down in this park right now. And there's people out there who rather distort a message because the truth is so much worse than their lie. We are here because the world. Tell us how you really feel, son. We are here because every single person here cares. Literally, raise your hand if you care. I mean, it's simple as that. You wouldn't be out here on such a beautiful Utica day if you didn't <laughs> care in some little way. And when you're out here and you're fighting for this, it's very frustrating to see people in an office talk down about what you're trying to do in a city that's falling apart around you. So we, I encourage everybody who's here today, everybody who agrees and cares and wants to be a part of a better choice, join with the Occupy. Do what you can. We, you can do whatever you want to do in this group because that's the kind of group that we are. It's all about free association, it's about building the community, and it's about being a Utican and making a better world. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I wanted to get it out there and I wanted to share that to everybody. And, uh, <laughs> but our next speaker is uh, Deb Hagenbaugh. Deb? And you're from the uh, the labor agency, right? I am, but I'm not here officially. Okay. Then Deb is just here I'm as an individual. I'm unofficial. <laughs> you want the big one or the small I one? Can, can you hear me with this big no? Yeah, I thought you could see me. <laughs> um, I heard something interesting the other day. Has anybody caught the latest Gloria Steinem documentary? She did a good job. She has the fire in her. And she talked about the model of relating down, identifying down work. And that's what's become really unpopular. If you stay, for example, a community organizer, if you stay working in a grassroots occupation, if you stay in the classroom as a good that's because you don't have potential. Because otherwise, you move up. We all must identify up. We all must be this. We all must be CEOs. It has become
come dirty to identify down. It is though somehow you are unsophisticated, immature, again, incapable of other activities. We don't want to invest quality in our grassroots communities, our civic organizations, our classrooms, our child care. That's not where we want our investment. Um, I watched, Cassandra was talking about books, and you also have Cornell West and Travis Smiley with the rich and the rest of us. And he talked about Tinkle Down, because that's really what it has amounted to. The one thing we all have, Report on the reporters. and I know this has become <laughs> controversial, um, but I too come from working this a while ago. And while we can take dollars and still say, nine for you, one for me, ten for me, none for you, two for you, eight for me, we still all have one vote. And we need a lot more power, but we have to use the power you have. And I don't say that just from a system place. I say that from a personal place. Because using the power you have is what helps you get up the next day and do it. Every time you become apathetic and we let those little things slip by, we lose some personal motivation. We lose some personal nurturing. So let's use every bit of power we have while we grow the power we need. Cassandra talked about not enough young people here. Not enough anybody here. Right. Not enough anybody. My friends say, what are you doing down there? It's the young people. You did yours. I still think we're going to do it together or not at all. Right. Together or not at all. Um, my idea is I show up for yours and you show up for mine. And together we will grow community. And let's remember... Identifying downward is what America is about. It's about people. It's about building our communities. It's not about elitism. It's not about royalty. It's not about having the rich become our new kings and queens. It's not about envy for those who are more well off. No envy. We all put our energies and focus where we want to. We have our own value systems. But it's about crossing those gaps between us to say there's a basic fabric of our community that is the responsibility of us all. Thank you.